Let's go fragrance connoisseurs. You know what? It's time to get excited. I'm going to tell you why. This is something personally to me that's been hyped up for a long time and I'm really excited that I can share it here today. The Zoologist Specimen Anthology Collection. Let's take a look here. Look at this. This comes with 30 of their fragrances. They do have one new one that is not in this and that is Penguin. Here's a little information, some jargon about the company, but if you're not familiar with them, basically what they do is they create a fragrance from different perfumers based on animals and they try to smell like the animal and create its habitat into a realistic and artistic expression that I think is absolutely an awesome idea. But I do hear that some of these fragrances are very challenging to pull off. I mean, do you want to smell like an animal? So I'm going to do this in a two part video. I'm going to do the first 15 today and then I'm going to do another video with the second 15, mainly because I don't want to straight bomb this room spraying 30 fragrances that smell like animals and their habitats. And you know what? Since I'm a little bit dyslexic, let's start with box two. Let's start with the 15 that's in here and let's see what we got. The first one up is Northern Cardinal. Now I'm going to show you the packaging and the information. I'm not going to talk about the notes, the perfumer and all the information that's listed here. So if you want to read that, feel free to pause the video at any time. Okay, here we go. Northern Cardinal. First blast, it's very green. There's a little bit of citrus and I smell some patchouli in there. Honestly, it's you know what? This this is a bit bland and boring. I don't really get an animal. It's not it's not challenging to wear at all. This is a very vegetal fragrance. It almost feels like a chopped vegetables or a chopped salad. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me a little bit of Patchouli Intense by Perfumes de Nicolai or just de Nicolai. Have you ever smelled that one? Patchouli Intense. Now, I would say that one is a way stronger fragrance, way more intense, and I actually prefer it highly over this one. Is this bad? No, not by any means. You know, you could wear it. Um, I, at a, at one to 10, I would give this like maybe a 5.5 to six. On to the next. The next one we have coming in is Sloth. Let's check out Sloth and see what we think. You know, hopefully this smells good. I like Sloth, they're pretty cool. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, so right off. <laughs> You're blasted with a tea, a realistic chamomile tea. The tea is present, but a very, very realistic honey, like straight beeswax. Like you knock the nest and bit into it. That's what I get. I get tea and honey. You know, it's a little bit medicinal. It's a little bit mysterious. Uh, you know, I actually dig this one. I'm liking it. You know what? So the honey is starting to tame down a little bit in the tea vibe and you're getting this very realistic earthy hay, like like hay that you'd put on your porch during the holidays, like straw, like hay. It has a very earthy hay smell. I like this one. It has a tea vibe. It's honey. It's earthy. It's hay. You know, I could see this being a sloth habitat. It almost seems like something they'd be up in the trees. There's something earthy in here too. I don't know what it is. It's a little funky. I think the notes said mushrooms. Maybe. This isn't bad overall. I actually dig this one. It is it wearable? I mean, that's gonna be up to you. These are very unique. I'd give it a 6.5 to seven. I'm gonna wear this one. I like this. I'll, I'll check this out a little bit more. The next one up is Snowy Owl. This is a personal one that I've been interested in. I'm pretty excited to see what this smells like. So here we go. All right. Whoo. Oh, right off, super sharp, ice cold sharp. You know what this smells like right off the rip is sour coconut milk, ice cold coconut milk. That's a little sour. It's super bright. There's light florals coming through a little bit. of. It's not even trees. I don't know what it is. It definitely smells cold, snowy out. It's a, there's a little bit of funky musk in here. I don't know. So I smell cold, sour coconut milk. Uh, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this one. I'm a little disappointed. You know, as this is drying down, you know what this smells like? And it's kind of a strange thing. And I remember this from being a child. This smells like if you took a latex Halloween mask and put it on and sweated in it for two hours. That's what this smells like. That's what Snowy Owl smells like. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this. It's too bright. It's too sharp. It's too sour. I don't know. It's creative. Five out of ten. Next up, we got Seahorse. Uh, you know, this one's pretty hyped up. We're going to see what this one's all about. All right, here we go. You know, it's a little bit light. This smells exactly, exactly like you're smelling a puddle off the coast of a cold ocean. <laughs> Honestly, that's what it smells like. You know, it's a little bit salty and soft spicy. The opening's not too bad. I don't know. There's something going. There's a note in here that I don't like at all. Actually, it's coming through. I don't know what it is. So this is definitely a marine fragrance. It's realistic. I mean, you smell, this almost smells like how I picture seahorses smelling. If you walked up on the beach and you saw a dead seahorse washed up, seahorse, a seahorse washed up and you smelled it, or maybe you smelled it through the water. It's not rotted though. It's pleasant-ish. I don't know, not a fan. Uh, once again, some people may like this. If you're really into marine fragrances, I'm going to give it a five again. It's not something that I would personally wear. 
not gonna wear it. But if you did, it'd thrive in the summer. Next up is Panda. Let's go to Panda. We all like pandas. Pandas are cool. So let's check out what a panda will smell like. Here we go. So very earthy. Wow, I like this one. Very earthy. I get fresh green apple from this right off. It's a little bit strange, I'm not gonna lie. It smells like a fresh, bright, green, foresty jungle. The, the green apple really jumps out. And there's definitely a little bit of musky earthiness to this. I'm not gonna lie, it's weird. I'm really digging it. You know what this almost smells like? It almost smells like if you went to an apple orchard and you saw a half decayed, not fully decayed, but like a half decayed green apple on the ground and you picked it up and smelled that, that kind of a sweet vibe, you know, in a jungle, a little bit of musky from, from the panda. I I can see this one. Now this might be a little bit challenging to wear, but I don't know, if you're if you're into unique fragrances and you want something that's really different, check out a sample of this. I dig this one. I'm gonna experiment more with this one. I would say I'd give this a seven. This is a seven, 7.5. Panda's not too bad. Next up, we got Sacred Scarab. Let's smell like what is, what does a scarab smell like? What is a scarab's a beetle? Is that the ones that are in the mummy that eat your flesh? Who wants to smell like that? All right, here we go. Ah! Dude. Oh. This is super bright. I get lemon out of here. Sharp lemon, super bright, heavy, heavy musk. This is super musky and musky and pissy. Uh, there's a little bit of florals. I don't know what they are. I don't get any type of Egyptian vibe out of this. I, I don't know what this is trying to captivate, honestly. I mean, where do scarabs live? Down in a bunch of shitholes? I, I don't know. I, I This is a strange one. You know, it says there's a red wine note in here. It's strangely coming through. So you have super bright bright, sharp lemon and florals, insane pissy musk with a hint of chicken masalas. I don't know, I don't like this at all. In fact, I can't even smell that anymore. I'm not gonna wear it either. You know, to be generous, I'm gonna give that about a three to four. If you're into super challenging musky fragrances, you might like it, check it out. Up next, we have Nightingale. Ooh, now what do we have here for Nightingale? We're gonna check this one out. Okay, pleasant right off, wow. Yeah, this is a, that's, okay, so this is a very, this is Nightingale. This is a very pleasant fragrance. I get citrus, it's very bright and happy. I get florals, I get rose right off. It's a little bit powdery, which I like makeup style powdery fragrances. So citrusy, powder, bright, happy, floral fragrance. This one definitely leans feminine. I would wear it though. This is a good one. This one doesn't have any offensive things. If you're looking for a safe, unique fragrance and you want to check out something from Zoologist, Nightingale's pretty safe. Nightingale. You know, it's a little feminine, but I'll give this a seven. I'll give this one a solid seven. This one, this one's pretty nice. Not gonna lie. What's next? We have Moss Deer. Oh no. You know, if it's gonna be called Moss Deer right off, I don't even know. I don't feel like smelling a Moss Deer's ass right now. I, I really don't, but we're gonna smell it anyways. Oh, a little bit different than I was expecting, honestly. This isn't offensive. So I get blasted with cardamom. It's a little bit piney. It's very musky, but honestly, this is a very, it's not a cool cold musk, but it's a clean musk. It's not offensive. If you like musky fragrances, if you're into the must, my must. We don't want a basement. Musk. Check this one out. I like this actually. You know, I'm not super into musky frags. There's some that I do like, but this one's this one's pretty good. It's unique. You know, it's very clean and pleasant. Like I said, it's a little bit piney as it's drying down. Strangely, I don't know what's in this. Why? This is starting to remind me a little bit of Bentley Intense for Men, the dry down, which is boozy and tobacco. This kind of has that vibe. So picture Bentley Intense for Men with a bunch of bright, clean musk in there and a little bit more, a little bit pinier. It might be overpowering for some. For that, I'm gonna give it a six, 6.5. Not bad though. It's definitely unique and creative. Uh oh, we have moth coming up. Now, I I'm gonna say this right off here. I don't like moths at all. Every time I see moths, they literally fly right to my mouth. I don't know why, right to my face. I'm pretty creeped out by, I, mean, I think they're amazing, they're cool, but what could a moth smell like? I don't know. All right, here we go. This is so weird. Ah, oh, wow, what is that? What is this? This is definitely soft, spicy, a little musky. It smells like a fruity, smoky cough syrup. Like a cough medicine you get from the doctors, like the cherry one. So picture a really fruity, but extra smoke, like a like burning, like a burning smoke cough syrup vibe to this. It's a little warm, it's, it's spicy too. Not a big fan, I don't know, what is, does this smell like a moth? I don't know. Where do moths live, in the woods? I'm not getting woods out of this. It's very strange, too strange for me. It's not offensive though. It's not an offensive fragrance. Uh, I don't think it would be challenging to wear, but it's, it's, it's a little too unique for me. <laughs> Maybe I'm not into the niche, I don't know, I'm a big phony. I would give this probably like a, 
It, it's weird. I would say a 5.5, maybe a 5. I, I don't think I'd wear, I'm not gonna wear moth. I don't like moss either. Now here's one that's pretty hyped up. This is rhinoceros. Let's see, you know, what is this supposed to be? I've been told it's a boozy fragrance and I love boozy fragrances so much. So let's just find out. All right, so I'm getting whiskey. There's a realistic whiskey accord that's good. And there's a dirty leather that's not too bad. So I'm getting a boozy whiskey leather. It's a little smoky. There's like some incense in here. Not, not like a tobacco smoke, but it's like a boozy, although the boozy note's kind of gone already. So I'm getting like a dirty leather, a little bit of booze, an incense and really dry tobacco. This is a spicy fragrance too. And I don't know where the, like, what is that? You know, and there's a, there's a little bit of poo-poo in here. There's a little bit of poo-poo in here. It's not, it's not crazy bad. It, it's strangely, it works. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little fecal, which sounds horrible, but. So we have realistic whiskey. So picture whiskey, a dirty, realistic leather. There's like an earthy poo-poo vibe, which isn't too bad. It kind of works. And then there's like a really dry, burning incense tobacco smell going on here. You know what this is kind of reminding me of, which is kind of weird? It almost smells like a weird steak sauce. Like a sauce you put on like a beef steak, like an A1 or like a Worcestershire. It kind of has that vibe going on. I honestly am a little bit disappointed. I thought this was gonna be like a banger, boozy fragrance like Baronda from Nasamato, you know, with like leather. I don't know, I'm getting less booze, more leather incense poo poo. That's what I'm getting. It's not bad though. I'm definitely gonna wear it and, and check it out. This will thrive, this is manly. It's gonna thrive in the cooler months for sure. I'm gonna give it about a seven. I'll give it a 6.5. Cause I, cause I don't know the steak sauce vibe. I can't get out of my head. It's a little bit weird. So that was rhinoceros. Here's one of their newer ones. And this is tiger. Now, what would a tiger smell like? I don't know, but if I'm getting in a street fight, I probably want to smell like this. So we're going to check out what tiger smells like here in a second. Wow. I wasn't expecting this. All right. So this is very fruity. The opening's fruity. They say it's kumquat. So who knows what that smells like, but it's definitely a strange fruity, not quite citrus a little, but it's definitely a fruity opening and I'm getting very, very earthy, smoky vetiver. This is a vetiver fragrance. So if you're a fan of vetiver with, you know, smoky, earthy, burning vetiver grass, you'll definitely like Tiger. This is, this is really nice. This does not have any challenging things unless you don't like the smoky vibe to it. So it is a bit woody and a little bit floral, but you get that fruitiness, you get that smoky vetiver, a little bit floral comes in just to balance it out. This is really good. Now I'm not huge into vetiver fragrances, but if you are, I would highly suggest smelling Tiger. And this is way fresher than I was expecting too. I, was, I wasn't expecting this kind of freshness. I don't know why. I would give this, this is good. I would give this about an 8.5. I'll wear this again, I'll check it out. Like I said, I'm not huge into vetiver, but this one's really solid. Next up, we got the macaw. Is that how you say it? It's the monkey. This is the yuzu edition, which is a citrus fruit if you're not familiar. Macaw yuzu edition. All right, here we go. Oh, this is good. This is very pleasant. Citrusy, woody. It smells fresh like the treetops in a jungle. You know what though? There's like a smoke, there's like an incense in here. You know, you know like when you walk in a, a shop and you smell a bunch of incense sticks? This smells like one of the really fresh fruity airy ones. Like smell a really fresh fruity incense stick. And that's pretty close to what this smells like. I'm not getting anything offensive either. I like this one. McCall Yuzu Edition, citrusy, airy, incensey. This one's pretty good. I don't know. I, I'm going to give this a 7.5 of 8. This was one of the better ones, honestly, so far out of the 15. Ah, I'm surprised. Not too bad. You know, maybe if you want to smell like a monkey, you might smell pretty good. Next up, we have Squid. Now, I mean, honestly, if you read about this brand, this is one of the more hyped up fragrances they have. I feel like a lot of people like Squid. You know, what does Squid smell like? I don't know. It's probably a marine fragrance, but you know, let, let's see what we got here. All right, here we go. Uh, very spicy, it's dark, super mysterious. It's inky, which does that make sense? This. Honestly, I don't think I like it. I don't know. I think this literally smells like how I picture a squid smelling 3,000 feet deep in the deep, dank, dark, marine, salty seawater ocean. That's unique for sure. It, it almost has, it's getting like burny. Ah. It almost smells like tiger balm. It has like a burning muscle cream vibe to it. So spicy, tiger balm, dark, 
inky. This is a strange one. I don't know. I want to test this more. I thought this was going to be super marine like seahorse. It's not though. This is like deep cold ocean. This is unique. I don't know if I like it. I'm definitely going to test it more because it's so strange. I, I feel like the dry down will be good on this one, but I definitely get the tiger balm kind of vibe to this. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. It's weird. I, I'll give it for creativity and I'll give it a 7.5 and 8. Uh, I think it's masculine as shit, to be honest. I'm looking forward to testing this out again. Next up, we have koala. Look at that little koala bear. He's super cool. What does the koala smell like? I don't know. Probably eucalyptus. Oh, man. Wow. I'm going to... This is my favorite one so far. That might just be me, though. This is super bright, minty honey. This is very medicinal smelling from the eucalyptus, probably. It almost has a really cold honey cough drop vibe to it, which if you love cough drops, you'll love this. If you don't, don't let that detour you, though. It, it's more than that. Wow, it's getting darker and spicy. You know, there's a there's a vanilla note that's coming through and a tea note. I really like this. This, this is awesome. So up top, you had really bright minty honey eucalyptus, a little medicinal, and then it turned into this like vanilla, spicy black tea. It's a little bit earthy. I don't know what that, not earthy, like I don't wanna say musky, it's not musky. Maybe it's koala, is that what their fur smells like? This is great, it's, it's reminding me of a Penhaligon's fragrance, and I can't think of the name of it, but it's it's like a black tea and milk that kinda smells like that. This is really good. Out of so far, this is my favorite. I'd give this a nine or a 10, honestly. For sure, I, this is just my vibe. I'm gonna definitely wear this one. I'll rock this. Check out Koala, it's solid. Last, but definitely not least, we have King of the Jungle. And I'm not talking about a lion, but I'm talking about the OG King, none other than Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now, I've been told this is a beast mode insane fragrance. All right, here we go, here's T-Rex. Okay, right off. This smells like, I'm not even joking, this smells like if an asteroid ripped through the sky, hit Earth, set the entire forest on fire, killed all the dinosaurs that were there, there's blood everywhere, and then it turns into this crazy incense vibe coming through, which reminds me of like, if you were in a hidden temple digging, and you found a Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton. That's what this smells like. So to sum that up, we have spicy, burning forest smell. Definitely, it's very smoky. It's a bit floral, which kind of balances that smoke. And then I get very good dark incense, almost like dragon's blood incense and leather, like a dark, dingy leather. So burning forest, smoky, a little bit floral mixing in there, incense and leather. And the incense vibe is what gives me that crypt feeling. It feels like if you were you know, in a crypt, and you were digging up and you found a Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton, like a big skull, and you were in some crazy country and there was incense burning around you and torches lit from the 1920s. That's what this smells like. So the opening is like a burning, fresh, spicy forest, like a fir forest or jungle, mixed with a dark, deep incense vibe with a little bit of florals and a very nice, strong leather. I, I really dig this. You know, I don't feel like it's as crazy of beast mode as what people were saying, but Tyrannosaurus Rex is really good. I'm gonna give this an 8.5 out of 9. I don't know. I'm going to wear it. I don't know where I'd wear it. Maybe to a death metal concert, but this is this is pretty unique. I, the, the change that I did was insane. I can't wait to spray this one again. 